All right, David. Okay, so we've got a uh, new product here, uh, the swimmer's bag. The swimmer's bag. Yeah. It's, now, uh, who was this developed for? It's actually been in development. Uh, I got my first prototype in 2008. Okay. Uh, so it's got some longevity. Um, we have some waterborne customers that are really, really, really strong swimmers. They're good swimmers, all right. They're very good swimming. And uh, they had some interesting needs to be met. That weren't, uh, that weren't existing in the market? Yeah. Because there's other dry bags out there. There are plenty of other dry bags. And the challenge was they take all their very sensitive equipment and expensive equipment, put it into dry bags, put that into a big swimmable bag, and then put that into a backpack. They do these very interesting swims. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of weight. weight. Yeah, a ton so of weight. So typically what you end up too. with is the between the bags, the dry bags, and the rucksack, uh, upwards of 30 pounds if you used all the, the suite of bags. Right. So that was the that was a hey, help us get rid of some of this. We put us different. on the Jenny Craig program. Got it. Uh, and so we had some interesting technology. The fabric is really the, the main story. Then the features of the of the pack really just complement the very intense fabric story. So, so this is a Cordura yarn. So Cordura are the yarns, you got you know stuff going east and west and then intersecting north and south. So you have to stabilize those yarns. Just like you, you can't just stack bricks, you need mortar to, to, to stabilize it. Right. And so they put a coating on the back of these yarns to stabilize them, to keep it from, from torquing and getting uh, you know, if you stick a, a, a pelican case in here, it would leave a kind of an indention, just like your your sweaters right. get kind of the the, the marks. marks. Your yep. Yeah, exactly. So, so you put these coatings on it to stabilize it, and the coatings help with water resistancy. But so I'm going to open this thing up so you can look inside at the fabric. Is a 70 liter? This is a 70 liter bag. It only comes in one size. Correct. Any size you want, as long as it's 70, 70. liters. So, so you can see here there's a crazy, crazy variance between traditional nylon in a card and uh, in this pack. So this is a, a film of polyurethane that is laminated and chemically bonded to the Cordura. So that process permanently chain links the pieces together so that they don't it's get not gonna flake, right. It's not going to flake. This makes it gas impermeable. To guys like me, that means waterproof and looks like a big balloon. Uh, it is built like a Gore-Tex jacket, so it is seam taped. Uh, on it is the seam taped. It only has two seams, yeah. correct? Well, so so this is, Which is one humongous piece of fabric. If you opened it out, it would go from about here to the door. It's brought back up and shaped, so it's built more like a, a pair of Gore-Tex pants with this, you know, pre-curve into right. it. Right. So yeah, so it's one one continuous piece of so fabric. So it makes it lighter. It seems more yeah. bust oh, yeah. out when so, you have uh, so yeah, huge from, loads. So yeah, guy that's going to put a hundred and 10, 120, 140 pounds of heavy, yeah. expensive classified equipment in this thing, uh, totally, totally uh, can handle those kind of stresses. We call this a swimmer's bag. So if guys are at 10 feet of water swimming, which is what the requirement, right. what they will ask for, this thing can handle it. It's not designed to go 300 feet down for guys that are swimming in the ocean yeah. with the sharks like you do, uh, but it's designed for, for, in essence, an OTB mission or an underway where guys uh, are basically swimming at the surface level. So, so the other thing you'll notice about is the zipper. I mean, we're not, it's the most Dry robust. suit zipper. It's yep. a dry suit zipper. Yep. Um, and then if you flip it over, you'll notice So this is completely bat. waterproof with just the zipper. Totally waterproof. And then, and then you can also get the extra with by folding it over. Yeah, like roll other. top helps uh, for with a waterproof seal, but as well just helps to manage, um, you, you know, air put, in this thing. Yeah, you can push having, it down. Having never been in, in, a, in a special operations unit and swum across the beach, um, you know, I can only regurgitate what the, the stories the guys tell me, but you got to take put a lot of weight in this uh, to get it down to 10 feet. And so that's what this purge valve is for, to make this thing buoyant or to put air into it so that you can swim it. Okay, so then you have a harness, pretty complicated harness system. Yeah, so so this whole system is designed, pull this out here, get a good look at it. Sum it up. So Top it's fully adjustable. Down. Yep, so you've got two inches, two, two inches of variance here, so for height and for width. It's all hydrophobic, and this comes out of uh, the guys uh, who were testing this thing up in uh, southeast Alaska. So foam uh, wants to absorb water and then freeze at night. And this is a hydrophobic foam, a closed cell foam. Uh, so it's less likely to absorb a bunch of water than Moisture. become a, a popsicle that you gotta wear. And then all the hardware is actually fused in. Yeah, it's glued on. 
uh, and that's the process that happens uh, where this, this, if we had a, a loop or a magnifying glass, you could actually see the saturation of, of polyurethane at the surface. And this basically fills up those valleys with urethane to make a more sheer surface so we can glue the hardware on. So this Which has, had never been able to be done right, before. Yeah. It's a one square inch, has uh, about a 500 pound pull off strength for, for durability and, and just the strength overall. So you got the uh, hip belt? Yep, and the hip belt is designed to uh, to have the, the camp undo these. And it moves. So it allows it to shift, yeah. So guys are moving and walking. Uh, it's, it's got a little bit of flex. Yeah, it's not like wearing lawn furniture. It's got more, uh, more some flexibility and, and form to it. And then you'll also notice that the frame is actually on the inside. It's completely laminated. I don't know. So you can't you can't pull it out. Can can't you? pull it out. Right. You can pull the stays out and pre-bend them. Right. So if guys, you know, I don't think guys are going to be wearing armor with this. Uh, they're going to throw their armor in, inside and swim it to the beach and then put it on. But uh, but it's basically got the ability to, to you can you can shape the aluminum stays. But the the frame is laminated on the inside of the pack. That gets the weight closer. So uh, a man's center of gravity is in his sternum, woman's in her pelvis. So guys, if, if you have a heavy, heavy load up here that's farther away from your center of gravity, it wants you to, to pull you back. You so you have to bend over more to off to counterbalance that. So by getting the weight closer to your to your body, uh, it allows you to stand more upright, even with the insane loads that these guys uh, carry around on their back. And then you got extra straps if you want yep. to attach anything yep. to it. Fins, Fins. Uh, whatever it else is, tools of the trade. And then you got a drag strap. Yep. On. Yeah, so guys, if they're coming through the surf, you can tow it behind through. you. Yep. Man, yeah, this feature set is pretty cool. Yep. Purpose built for a very unique customer. Okay. David, thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, love having Arc Terrace a partner. Yep. So if you want to find out more information, you can follow us on Instagram, Tactical underscore distributors or uh, look us up on Facebook. We got a ton more content behind the scenes from SHOT Show 2014.